Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Know when your breath is coming in, know when your breath is going out. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Make up your mind that this is where you're going to stay. This is what, the way the Buddha says you give a blessing to yourself is by heading your mind, heading your actions in the right direction. There's a passage in the, the Sutta on blessings where he says, having done good things in the past is a blessing, living in a place that's appropriate to practice. In other words, people aren't starving, there's no war going on, there's no famine. The culture is supportive. These are all blessings. But these are blessings that depend on your past actions. They can only depend so far on your past actions. What you want to be able to do is depend on your present actions. That's where you have a real, really reliable blessing. That's what aiming yourself in the right direction. Aiming your words, aiming your deeds, aiming your thoughts, aiming your life in the right direction. Ask yourself, where do you want to go? Have a very clear idea of where you want to go, and then stick with it. Don't be a traitor to your best intentions. Don't be a traitor to your clearest ideas. Because sometimes other things come up in the mind. This is why we have to train the mind. Greed comes up, and you've got to be able to overcome it. Anger comes up, and you can't let yourself be waylaid by the anger. Delusion comes up, and you've got to let yourself be ambushed by the delusion. You've got to stick on your course once you see that something really is good, something really is helpful both to yourself and the people around you. You want to keep straight in that direction and don't go wavering off the path, wandering off the path. So as you're sitting here meditating, as you notice, the mind's wandering off. Okay, you've got to bring it right back. This is training in how to put your life in the right direction. Because if you're going to depend only on your past good actions, you're like a cook who can make good food only when provided with good food. A really good cook, though, is the one who can walk into the kitchen and make good food out of anything. I mean, you look at the different cultures of the world. They take moldy milk and they can make good food out of it. They take rotten fish and they can make good food out of it, if the cook is good. And the same with real life. You can't really depend on the fact that all your actions in the past have been good. Otherwise, you wouldn't be a human being. You'd be someplace else right now. We have a mixed bag from the past, so we have to make sure that we know how to fix our food regardless of the kind of food that we find in the kitchen, so that it's palatable and it's actually healthy for you. And it is possible. Sometimes that loss comes your way, some loss of money, loss of status, criticism comes your way. And if you keep your mind firmly directed, in other words, realizing that you're not here to feed off of just pleasant things, you're here to feed off your good intentions. Your good intentions are much better food. Then you can take that loss and turn it into something good. At the very least, you learn who your true friends are, the people who help you when you're, when you're down and out. When criticism comes, again, that you can ask yourself, is the criticism true? You may, not, you may not like it, but if it's true, then it's a sign that you've got to look at your own actions. As the Buddha said, if someone points out your faults to you, that's someone who's pointed out a treasure, in other words, an opportunity for you to improve yourself. And if it turns out the person's criticism is false or ill-intentioned, well, you've learned something about that person. So either way, you've benefited. In this way, if you keep your mind on the path, and in the direction that you've determined for yourself, okay, then you really can attain the goal that you want. You have to learn there's some things you're going to have to put aside, but as long as you have a clear notion of where you want to go in life and don't let any of your actions or words get in the way, then you're much more likely to gain something really worthwhile out of this life. And this really is a blessing. If you go around asking for blessings for other people, they'll say nice things to you, but then the nice things have to be converted into good actions on your part for the blessing to be genuine. So this is where you really bless yourself as you focus your life in the right direction. And it starts right here, learning how to train the mind. Keep your mind trained in the right direction. Something simple just like staying with the breath. If you can't keep your mind with the breath for five in and out breaths, then you're going to have a lot of problems keeping your life on course. So work on staying with this one object until you get really secure with it. And then you find it easier to stick with other things as well and be able to see the, the path of your life all the way through to a, a happy end.